In this first part of our conversation with Judith Butler, philosopher, professor at the University of California at Berkeley, we talk about hope in the world created by COVID. Hope is um, a big question these days. And I think uh, many people across the world are, um, are, are asking a fundamental question, what, what, may, what may we hope for? Uh, what, what is there to hope for? Um, and sometimes I think that takes, uh, that, that question forms in the midst of despair. Um, I am feeling hopeless. I do not see hope wherever I look. Um, and, um, and the question, what do I hope for? Or what is there to hope, uh, for, um, is, uh, is uttered from that despair and is seeking consolation. So picture to hold on to, some, some railing <laughs> to lean into. And yet it also um, emerges from another quarter altogether, which is, um, I would say, the field of social movements that are seeking social transformation, that want to see uh, environmental destruction ended and reversed, um, uh, social equality, wanting to see disparities among the wealthy and the poor decreased or obliterated altogether. Racial justice and equality and freedom, all three, will there be a day uh, when black and brown people in this country um, uh, earn a living wage, uh, walk on the street without fear of brutality or discrimination, um, and exercise their freedoms without fear of violent reprisal or censorship? Um, so some people are hoping for a changed world <laughs> and others are just looking for any sign of hope. And I think those are two different ways of thinking about hope. Um, <clears throat> my, my sense is, is that, um, at the same time that we're waiting, uh, for a sign of hope or struggling for a future world, we're also living this world in which people are offering care to one another. Um, offering solicitude, uh, for lack of a better word, soliciting how are you, offering what they have to offer, entering into modes of association that are not just based on family structures or, or small communities, but sometimes, you know, associations among strangers who seek to make sure everybody has health care, shelter, a way to get to testing, a way to get to meds, um, a, a way to understand how to apply to the government to get money, uh, how to get their visa processed. Um, so these forms of lateral association, I, I suppose they could be understood as um, socially horizontal social movements, are in their daily operation producing hopeful signs. In other words, they're producing hope by virtue of making these solidaristic connections. So I would say that hope is imminent to those practices of solidarity, care, and solicitude that I do think are expanding, no matter what the government is doing, no matter, uh, no, no matter what the white supremacists are doing. There are, there are these kinds of bonds that are being forged and new forms of uh, social support uh, uh, systems of aid that um, that are giving hope and are themselves signs of hope and may even be the sign of the world to come uh, for which we also hope. This question, of course, I do have to ask. Uh, do you have hope? I try to find some bit of hope every day. I'm aware um, that hope can sometimes be based on denial, like, oh, you know, like Trump, it's gonna all gonna be over, you know, it's not that serious. So, you know, there are forms of hope that are just dissociated from reality. And they're, for the most part, not helpful. Um, in, unless we're writing fiction, you know, then great, you know, dissociate and write that and let it refract this reality that we're living. But I, I look for moments of collaboration, even some of the scientific collaborations in the in the vaccine and antiviral production are very moving to me. They work across languages. They, some of them at least, share all their material. I, I find the, the internationalism of some of that collaboration very hopeful, um, um, especially the plans that some of them have to, 
distribute whatever vaccine is discovered in an equitable way and, and through, through means that do not uh, make a profit. So, uh, you know, I see that uh, and uh, I'm, not, I'm not hopeful all the time, but I, I try to find the moments of hope and, um, and cluster them together so they produce something of a picture.